in your long career, was there ever a song you were like very, um, very invested in and maybe you wanted it to uh, get the single treatment and it didn't or you just wanted it to go a little bit? Oh, okay, you're ready to go. Go Tell me. Uh, tell I'll me. tell you. It's yes. Wasabi. It should have been a single. Just as for Wasabi always, I will never shut up about it and I'll probably put it in my set when I do my own shows. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Watch. In 10 years from now, it's going to blow up on TikTok again. Imagine. Like, it, I mean, it happens. It kind of did though. It kind of did. Like after, Well, after it was out a few years later, it started trending on TikTok. I was like, I told you. I told you. Um, so I'll never shut up about that one. But there's always some that slip through the net. You know how it is. You can't have every song as a single. So this was a single, but it still upsets me to this day. I, I really was very passionate about Touch. I just felt like it should have been a number one in the US. Like, yes. It should have it been. It really should have. I think it was... Ugh, I don't know what went on with that whole thing. I think it was a bit of like miscommunication and crossed wires of like what was the first thing and what was the second because sure. touch definitely deserved more especially over here and we saw that reaction you know we toured with ariana grande at the time on a dangerous woman tour and every time we performed touch it went off and we knew it was special we were like this is going to be huge um for whatever reason um it didn't quite happen I mean, let's be clear. It did well, but that yes. is a perfect pop song. Like, it oh really God. is perfect. I remember Charlie XX when I did an interview with her like a couple of years ago. She was like, that's one of the best pop songs ever. And I was like, period. And that's flattering <laughs> coming from Charlie XX. The I queen mean, of pop, yeah. yeah. She's, she's phenomenal.